are you doing today? Um, very well, thank you. Good, my name is Rachel. Um, I'm from Occupational Therapy. Have you ever had Occupational Therapy before? I have not, no. Okay. Have you ever heard of it or know anything about it? I have heard of it, yes. Okay, sounds good. So, um, Occupational Therapy is where um, we help you get back to your activities, roles, routines that you um, normally would do um, prior to like a deficit in performance. Um, and so we just help you get back to those meaningful activities that you enjoy, um, whether that's helping you through adaptation or getting stronger or changing your environment, things like that. Okay, so today I'm just going to get to know you um, a little bit more about your situation and then we're going to do some assessments to kind of see where you're at and to create some goals for your treatment. Okay? Okay. All right, sounds good. So let's start off with getting to know you a little bit. Um, so what do you do for work and what, do you, what does your life look like on a daily basis? Um, I'm a fifth grade teacher, so I... Um... I get up in the morning, I get ready to go to work, and I teach, and then I come home and make dinner for my family, and it's pretty much my day. Okay, sounds good. Um, are you having um, any difficulties doing anything throughout the day that you um on your team? I sometimes have difficulty um, because I struggle with insomnia, so when I haven't slept well, then I struggle to get through the day. Um, that also causes problems with, um, I try to work out and stay fit, but if I haven't slept well, then that doesn't happen. Um, so that's probably the biggest thing. I also struggle with um, foot pain. I have pain in both of my feet that just, it, I think, depends on um, what shoes I'm wearing and things like that. And then um, I also have heart palpitations that sometimes get in the way of exercise and um, pro gives me shortness of breath. Okay. Okay, and have these, the foot pain and the heart palpitations and the insomnia, have they been happening um, for a long time or is it relatively new? Um, all three of those things have been going on for quite a while. Okay, okay. Um, anything else in like your past medical history you should know about? Um, well, I had, I had half of my thyroid removed in 2016 um, because I had a nodule in my thyroid and so I take medication for that. Um, I also had breast cancer in 2016. Um, so I still take medication for that, but um, my my treatment was minimal, meaning just medication and radiation. Okay. So. Okay. And no complications since then, correct? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, good. And so, um, what would you say like are your most important like roles that you have in your life right now? Um, my most important roles. Well, obviously teaching is probably um, an important role and I, you know, try to be a good wife and a good mother um, for my family. Okay, good. And you said you you have relatively have the same routine every day? Pretty much, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. And that's been going all right as well? Yeah, for the most part. Okay. I mean, when I sleep. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Um, so what we will do is we're going to go through an assessment um it's called the canadian occupational performance measure or copm um, and we're just going to kind of dive more into your um, occupational performance deficits that you kind of already touched touched on but we're going to break them down a little bit and then have you score how you feel that they're, everything is going okay okay um so we will um, I'll have you think about a typical day and then think about activities you would do during that day that fall in these categories, okay? Okay. Um, so do you feel as though you have any difficulties performing any self-care activities, any like dressing, bathing, feeding, hygiene? Um, no, I think my self-care is I'm able to perform those duties. Uh, just when 
I don't sleep well, then, um, then there are certain parts of the day that are more difficult than others to, to get through just because I'm feeling fatigued and run down. Yeah. Okay. Back to sleeping and then what about an, uh, any functional mobility difficulties? So anything um, from transferring, like rolling over in bed, getting in and out of bed and out of the shower and out of your car, um, walking around? Um, no, I, I feel like I can do most of those things fairly well. With the, the, foot, the feet pain though, um, I do have to take breaks and sit down and sometimes put my feet up and stuff like that. Um, to get through that type of thing. Okay. And are you pretty good about taking those breaks or? Yes, when I can. I mean, okay. with teaching, it's a, a lot on my feet, but um, since we've been teaching during a pandemic, things have been a little bit different, yeah. but yes, I'm pretty good at taking breaks when I need okay. to. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, and then what about any community management? So if you take any public transportation when you're out grocery shopping, uh, managing your finances, things like that, do you have any trouble with that? No, I think I'm okay with that. Okay, all right. So now we'll move to the productivity section. So we'll talk about do you have any, do you feel like you have any difficulty at work or finding or keeping your job or have you difficulty finding a job? Um, any volunteering that you do? Mm, no, I don't have any difficulties in that okay. area. Good. Um, what about household management? So, like, any difficulties with cleaning, doing laundry, cooking meals for your family? Um, no, I can do those activities just fine. Okay. I don't always enjoy doing them. <laughs> I know, right? Who does? <laughs> um, and then, okay, that sounds good. We're going to skip the homework section because I don't okay. think you're doing much homework. You're grading no, homework, grading but paper, not doing the homework. Work, yeah. Okay. Um, and then let's move on to the leisure section. So any like um, quieter like activities or hobbies like reading or crafting? Do you have any difficulties doing that? No, I don't have any difficulties with um, quieter activities. Okay. <laughs> and then how about more active things like um, traveling? Any like any outside walks or hikes or workout workouts or um, yes, I, I do enjoy working out. I try to work out five days a week. Uh -huh. um, the heart palp palpitations occasionally get in the way with that because um, since it's been nicer out, we've been walking outside um, in the nice weather, and I notice that I get winded when I feel like I really shouldn't because I've been pretty consistent with uh, working out and physical activity for a good four years or so, so mm -hmm. I I think that um, is kind of getting in the way. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Um, and then the last one would be socialization. So any um, problems like communicating with others or being in social gatherings, obviously that's hard in the past year from the pandemic, <laughs> but. Yeah, um, but Zoom has been come in handy for that. So no, I, I don't have any problems with socials, socialization. Okay. okay, great. Um, so from there, what we from what we've talked about, so like the sleep management, um, and then like your foot pain during the day, um, and then the, your um, heart palpitations causing you to be out of breath. Those are probably the top three. Things that you're having difficulties right now with? Yes. Okay. Um, let me just write these down. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to give you next is a little scale. So I'm going to look at the top scale, and this is important. So one being not important at all, and ten being extremely important. So I just want you to rate on the scale of one to ten how important it is for you to improve upon these performance difficulties that you're having. Um, and then we'll start with the functional. Um, we'll start with the functional mobility one. So your foot pain. Um, how important is it to you that that um, gets resolved or improved? Um, I guess I'd rate that like a six or a seven. Okay. 
And then what about the sleep management? Still not the important. Yeah, just the important. Um, that would be a nine or a ten. Okay. And then lastly, the um, heart palpitations, being out of breath while you're exercising, walking. Mm -hmm. Let's give that a nine as well. Okay. All right. Then we're gonna look at um, your perform what how you feel you're performing um, right now. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to ask you about your performance, how you're performing it right now and your satisfaction at the moment. Um, and then in the future, when we reassess, we can see if there's any improvement. Okay. Okay. So for the foot pain, how do you feel like you're performing right now with the, with the foot pain? Um, I'm performing quite well. So I would say maybe a nine. Okay. Um, and what about your satisfaction? Um, a nine also with that. Okay. Um, and then what about your, um, dealing with your heart palpitations and being out of breath for the, for the performance with that? Mm. Let's give that a six, I guess. Okay. And then your satisfaction? Also a six. Okay. And then lastly, the sleeping, mm -hmm. not being able to sleep. Um, How would you rate your performance? Let's give that a six as well. Okay. And then your satisfaction? Mm -hmm. A five. Okay. Great. Thank you. I will total that all up and have that for you at the end of this session. Now I'm going to move on to a different assessment. Um, this one is from the World Health Organization, and what it's going to do is ask you how you feel about your quality of life, health, and other areas of your life. So I'm actually going to have you fill this out. Um, and so just fill out this top part, and then we'll go over the instructions. It's just like background information about you, okay? Okay. I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> Which one is it? It says, if you think, if something is wrong with your health, what do you think it is? What do I put there? Just that I'm getting older? Sure. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> put that down. Getting more mature. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Great. So, um, now I'm just going to ask that you answer all of the questions. If you're unsure about which response to give to a question, um please just choose the one that appears the most appropriate um keep in mind while you're taking this your standards hopes pleasures and concerns and then think about um your life in the last two weeks for the question okay okay um so these are an example so did you do you get the kind of support from others that you need you would rate not at all not much moderately a great deal or completely okay um you should circle the number that fits best um, by how much support you got from others over the past two weeks, so you'd um, circle whichever number. Um, right. The same with okay. this one as well. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out this page and then the, the second page. And if you have okay. any questions, feel free to ask me. But do you want me to start on the other side? Or? Oh, that one was just an example question, too. Oh, those are examples. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay.
you want me to fill that part up? No, I can fill that part. Okay. Thank you. You're All right. Welcome. Great. So what I will do is I will take these and score them. And then, like I said before, I will use these to um, to help make your goals for your tree. Okay? okay. Do you have any questions for me? I don't think so. Okay. Sounds great. Well, it was nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you, too.